And how can you prepare people for mediation sessions? Do you work with clients to help get them prepared to make financial proposals? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, so really where, where I come in to really help somebody, um, I think I can help, you know, either the out spouse or the in spouse, but, you know, let's just take the out spouse, for example. I mean, where I could come in is let's say someone was, you know, looking at going to mediation and looking at starting a divorce and wanted to kind of understand their investments, right? So they can bring their investments into me. Um, I could kind of explain to them what they are, why they own it, you know, what is an IRA, what is a stock, what is a bond, what is a mutual fund, what is an ETF? And I can start to begin that process of education to help you know, the out spouse learn about what is going on with the personal finance. What's a stock option plan? What are, um, what's restricted stock? What is a 401k? What is a 401k matching provision? All these things that come up, I can help them understand. I can help them get a value of what these assets are. I can help them get an idea of what they're probably entitled to um, before walking into that mediation room. And then if it's the in stuff, it's the same type of thing. It comes down to um, just educating the individual about what they own and why they own it and what exactly they're entitled to and then coming up with a plan right so everything is based on planning you know we could look at one for you know either the outspouse or inspect your budget you know we got to quickly determine what are your monthly expenses what are they going to be what can we anticipate them so let's look at our current spending let's you know open a quicken account a min account something that we can get an idea of what we're spending how much we're spending and then start formulating a plan because it's, it's going to be expensive and you want to be educated and you want to have a plan. Yeah, I think education is very, very important. In oh, absolutely. A divorce. Absolutely. You have to make yourself smarter about money. It's called your financial IQ. And the most important thing you can do is start increasing that financial IQ. And it's, it, it starts on day one. And granted, it can be intimidating because this is the type of industry that is information heavy. I mean, there's so much information out there that it's overwhelming. And that's why, you know, having a financial advisor is a good idea because they can help narrow down that information for you and kind of hone in on the things that are important and the things that you need to know.